Hello and welcome. I gotta talk to you guys about this new Resident Evil show on Netflix. It is dreadful. I turned it off after 20 minutes and I, and me and the wife, we tried hard to watch this show and it is so bad, we turned it off. It, we couldn't even get through the first episode. We were like, what the hell is this? It was like a teenage drama set in a sterile environment in a hospital setting sort of that jumped around from the the past to the future with no sense of timeline control you didn't even have a clue on what the hell was going on in the show and this is resident evil it, it's not that hard you add zombies you you add bioweapons you add things in there that just go together the the it was a b game it was a b movie game back when it was released and why don't we get that grittiness from this type of thing no we have two girls i'm guessing because they made it all about veganism and and fighting how how one girl and another one i think i don't even know at this point how two girls in a school fight each other because one's a hunter gatherer and the other one's a vegan like, what the hell is this crap? It was ramming down today's modern political climate in 20 minutes time in a teenage angst drama that was completely trash. This is not Resident Evil. If I want to go watch or read something about a teenage drama, I'll go to Riverdale, for Christ's sakes. I'll go watch Buffy. At least that has vampires and is interesting. Resident Evil Netflix is just like, it's not Resident Evil. It honestly is a teenage drama gone wrong and then becomes attacked by zombies. This is absolutely ridiculous. The show is a travesty of the name. Don't even call it Resident Evil at this point. Call it Zombie High and you might have something to salvage. Because I tell you right now, it's nothing to salvage. The show is absolutely dreadful. Let's take a look at Rotten Tomatoes because a lot of people have opinions on this one. Well, now the critics are even turning on it, although there's only 34 critic ratings, so critics didn't even want to watch this thing. Uh, 53 percent for the critics that is absolutely dreadful for something that seems to be up on the top tier list checking all those check marks for you guys that's exactly what you guys wanted right no it's not people want to be entertained and i gotta say this was one of the most boring absolute dreadful 20 minutes of my life that i'll never get back me and the wife we started skipping ahead to try and actually see if there was something that was worthwhile watching there was nothing there was absolutely nothing uh, you know the there a zombie scene at the beginning and it was like you just sit there and you you look at it and go first off why why are you doing all of this alone and secondly you know the dangers you're not taking proper precautions and suddenly you're running faster than this horde of zombies that look like they're from world war z which was an absolutely a fantastic zombie movie the, that this makes the original resident evil movies don't look like they're a b-rated movie they look like absolutely gold they look like amazing cinematography from Milia Djokovic and honestly she would walk into this movie and be able to walk off the set and just go across the screen and she would make it that much better audience score 21 percent that is a hundred percent where I, I, it needs to be lower in all honesty we're gonna scroll down here let, let, let's get all critics all the critics are giving it here um with with more of a story woven inside your average resident evil movie there is more to chew on but still fails in the tender of the modern zombie tale it's zombies it's not hard to do a zombie show or movie look at the walking dead i don't watch the walking dead because i find it boring and drawn out but the scenes that do make them the, themselves known in The Walking Dead is what everyone's watching. To me, watching The Walking Dead is like watching a NASCAR race. You're waiting to see the crash, and until it happens, it's boring as all hell. This didn't even peak 
that interest. This was so much of a train wreck, the train left the station, wrecked itself, and now you're maybe seeing what happened. You never got to see the car crash in the first place. That's the problem with this movie, is it's missing the car crash. It's not. A, it, it's a dreadful mess of a show that is really hard to follow. Consider this another failed Umbrella experiment. Uh, in short, Netflix Resident Evil is a bloody great time. What? Are you kidding me? They have a full review on their website, so this is just promoting their website. This, they don't even care. I don't even think they even watch the thing. They probably just put up a review to say, listen, this is what it is. My God. Uh, <laughs> this Resident Evil, if it was made by the CW, a lot of the show is unrecognizable from the video game, 100%. It, it's not even CW, it, it's just absolutely ridiculously dumb. The two, the two people go to school and they fight because one hunts animals and one's a vegan and it's like this doesn't happen people get along you, you don't have this this badass girl that's fresh out of a prison cell going into a school and picking on the one girl that just happens to be vegan that does not happen it's not the way it is and it it's not even Resident Evil at that point. Seriously, go watch a high school drama and you'll have better idea on what this is. My God. Resident Evil was absolutely dreadful in the first 20 minutes. I did not like it. Why can't I see... Okay, here, here we go. Audience reviews is what I want to see here. See all audience reviews because these are usually where the good stuff is. Too many questions. Things just happen. Acting was sloppy. They even ripped the 28 days scene later with the animal activist making the mistake releasing an infected animal. What the hell, Netflix? You cancel good shows like Seance 8 uh, to spend money on this crap? Whoa, boy, did they miss the mark on this one. Honestly, just skip even trying to watch this show. Yeah, yeah, honestly. It's bad, bad, bad on every single level. Uh, the worst Resident Evil and uh, adaption I've ever seen. Five stars was great. When you don't try to compare it to what came before, I liked how it tries to be its own thing and succeeds massively for me. If you want shows to be their own thing, don't steal the name. Call it Zombie High. Call it something else completely. Do not tie it to the Resident Evil name. That is the major takeaway here. If you're going to put up a show and then throw all the source material out there like The Last Jedi, don't associate it with the original content. My God, so slow and boring, 100%. Worse than Obi-Wan, that's saying something. Hopefully there won't be a next season. Half a star, a rotten, brainless, decomposed horde of men eating abominations would be less disgraceful and insidious than this show. The bad writing, amateur directing, and disgusting production managed to achieve something truly astonishing to make Resident Evil fans yearn for real life apocalypse. Wow, that's a good review. I like that review. Patrick T, you got my thumbs up for your review. This show is Resident Evil only in name. It's just terrible. No other words needed. <sighs> This goes on. Like, there's so much I can I can relate here. I'm Resident Evil. I grew up with it. I love the games. I went through Resident Evil One and Two are probably my favorite games. Um, the Melia Djokovic movies. The fact that they went continuing and they made millions of dollars and it was great to see on the on the big screen it came out with uh they're all going to kill you meme um it, there was stuff that came out of that movie that just worked even though there was a lot of things in there that just doesn't work oh ultimately but it made the sense of it being a b style movie with the hollywood budget that was the difference it actually stuck to the core material it stuck to the things that made the show good and why it worked but this show was absolutely a dreadful mess yeah i only got through 20 minutes and i i'm not going to be watching the rest because it was bad and you can see here the critics and the audience are just ripping this show a new one it needs to be discontinued and thanks for watching this your proud Canadian phoenix cinder shadow don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time